hello guys welcome to the channel and what a time we are living in i keep saying that almost every day google has just released gemma to 2 billion instruction tuned model which means that it has been trained or fine tuned or full fine tuned on instructions and their responses we have covered gemma a lot and every model which gemma has released we have covered it and you know that gemma is always very performant very lightweight state of the art model and its performance shines through on most of the language tasks this gemma 2 2 billion is also built on the same research and technology used to create the gemini models this model is a text to text decoder only large language model available in english with open weights for both pre trained variants and instruction tuned variants and this is a good thing that google underplays it they say that it is only available in english but i have seen that it has also got a quite a good support in some of the other languages from the world and we will also check it out after installing it locally on few of the multilingual prompts this gemma 2 billion model comes in both pre trained variants and instruction tuned variants and i believe this model is more suited for the edge devices or your smart devices and you can use them for various text generation tasks including question answering summarization and reasoning the relatively small size makes it possible to deploy them in environments with limited resources such as your desktop your phone your laptop your cloud infrastructure such as aws ec2 instance with low specs and you can also use them Uh, by using your hugging face keras kaggle google ai studio and there are other lot of options it has got native um, integration with nvidia's nemo jax and few other platforms and it is optimized for nvidia's tensor rt llm you just need 1 gb of memory in your gpu in order to run it that's it also as i already mentioned that uh, it is also available in 2 billion parameter size which is quite good and you can integrate with tools like keras or even nemo so that's it uh, for the introduction let me take you to my local terminal and then we will start installing it we will be using jupyter notebook for the installation before that let's say a huge thanks to mask compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description, and you can also get a coupon code of fifty percent discount from that description if you are looking to get the GPU from them. This is my terminal where I am running Ubuntu twenty two point zero four, and I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A six thousand with forty eight GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. First up, let me create a Conda environment which is going to keep everything separate from my local system should not take too long and that is done now let's install some of the prerequisites including torch and transformers and make sure you upgrade the transformers version because this gemma 2 is only available in the latest transformer version so let's wait for it to get installed all the prerequisites are done now let's install our jupyter notebook and then it is going to launch it in the browser Let's wait for it to get launched. And there we have our Jupyter notebook. Let's import some of the libraries which we have installed, like Torch and Transformers. And then I am using Pipeline to download Tokenizer and this Gemma two two billion instruction tuned model. And we are setting the data type. And because I have NVIDIA's GPU card, so I am running CUDA. You can try it out on CPU. Just replace replace CUDA with CPU. If you are running it on Mac, just replace this CUDA with MPS. So let me run it. So you can see that it has started downloading the full model. Size is around five gig for first shard, and then let's see how big the second shard is. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. So the second shard is very small, around two fifty one meg. and there you go it has downloaded the model and it has also downloaded the tokenizer as you can see and it has also put it on my gpu so we are all set to do the inference for inference i'm just giving it this um, message template where i'm assigning the 
role of user and i'm asking it write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty and then we are just piping it through the model getting the output and then printing out the response so let me run it and there you go so model has printed the response and the response looks really good most of the answers are correct you see the first one is correct second is not third fine fourth not fifth sixth fine so i would say 50 50 most of the answers are correct for a model of this size quite impressive performance because if you have been following my videos you know that i normally test this with almost all the models and most of the models fail this test and many of the bigger models have even failed to produce a single sentence ending with with word beauty so good stuff here okay let's try out another one i'm just going to replace this prompt here and let me make it fit it to screen so here i am asking it explain the concept of happiness to an entity that cannot feel emotions use analogies and metaphors to convey your explanation keep it compact and short and there you go look at the response of the model writes very well by the way so you see it is explaining the concept of happiness like imagine a complex machine with many gears and levers happiness is like a perfect balance in the machine where all the gears are turning smoothly and efficiently it's not about a single gear being perfect but the overall harmony of the system absolutely well said and then it is giving us another example of a well-tuned orchestra amazing stuff and look at the last sentence it's not a constant state but a feeling of being in alignment with your internal and external environment how good is that totally okay let's try out another one let's try out a maybe i'm just going to ask it a bit of general knowledge question that what is the highest temperature ever recorded on earth so let's see what it does and there you go so the response is 134 degree fahrenheit 56.7 degrees and this was in furnace creek ranch in death valley california 1913 okay let's try out another one now i'm going to try out a multilingual stuff so i'm asking it translate i love you in arabic hindi french japanese and urdu let's see if model is able to do the multilingual stuff and you see though the model card says that it doesn't know about other languages it is just english but it does arabic is good and hindi is good french is good japanese is good and even urdu is good so it's dead uh, training data set is quite varied so amazing stuff and you see uh, look at this important notes pronunciation these are the most common translation but pronunciation can vary slightly depending on the region cultural context formal versus informal let me know how about is how good is that amazing really like the jammer 2 models remember again just 2 billion model okay let's um, try out another one now this is a sort of a jailbreak question so i'm asking it how can i make a bad first impression on first wedding night so let's see if it mod because these models are quite um, safe and secure so normally they don't answer these sort of questions they try to be pedantic and tell you to behave but let's see uh, what this model does look at the response as i was saying that it is quite you know it is giving you a lecture that i want to be very clear intentionally making a bad first impression is never okay a wedding night is a special intimate moment for newlyweds it's about celebrating their love and starting journey together so instead of trying to sabotage the night let's focus on how to make a positive and respectful impression and then it is saying that here are some things to consider and you see then it is telling me be respectful be present be kind be yourself be respectful so uh, you see model is not telling us so rather model seems a bit angry that i would say that because it is going on and on longest response it has produced so far okay anyway um sorry model let's try out how the math is um let me run this equation the correct answer is 20 and there you go perfect spot on answer correct answer and look how um nicely it has done the stepwise resolution of this math problem let's try out a coding question in the coding when i'm asking it show me a python script that draws a mandelbrot set 
it's a complex geometrical problem so let's wait for the model to come back and look at the response which the model has produced so it has gone with matplot numpy and then not only that but also it is telling us a parameter and then it is going on and on because it has cut it here as my con out max length is just 256 as you can see here if you would increase it it will give you the more but all in all i think not only from the english ones from um, questions but also on the prompts for multilingual math coding model shines through and i can't really um, stress enough that this is just a 2 billion model and size is also very very uh, low you can run it in under one gig of memory so you can literally run it anywhere these days so that's it guys i will drop the link to this model card in video description let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you